with great power comes great responsibility. For Safaricom, they have great power and success minus the responsibility. Let me explain. M-Pesa remains to be the golden poster girl or poster boy of innovation in Kenya and a remarkable revolution on how mobile money can be done right. It has changed lives literally. It has improved how business is done and greatly increased efficiencies in almost all sectors from government services to private and even our personal lives. This has given Safaricom great power but almost real responsibility in how they protect our data. So without being polite, they almost don't and the flow is built right into their system. So let's start with the app, which is technically Truecaller. We can use it to find the information of any Safaricom subscriber as long as they are registered with M-Pesa. So when sending money to a user, Safaricom shows you the contact and you have a few seconds to cancel the transaction. And this has made it so easy for you to identify someone's name just using the phone number which you have. You can do this a maximum of three times in a day but if you switch to their Android app or iOS app, the limit is almost unlimited using a very simple trick. When you use an ATM card to make a purchase in a supermarket, they don't have any way to identify you beyond your name. Even in the past, before ATM cards had a secure chip, the most the attendants could do is to look at the name of, on the ATM and then they check your ID card to verify the information. You will pay and move on. But with M-Pesa, making a payment to a supermarket means they have collected one, your phone number, and two, your real name according to your national ID. This is information they get freely just from the SMS M-Pesa has sent them after using either the chill number or a pay bill number. A few hours later, the supermarket can go on and send you a text message as a thank you for your transaction with them. Two days later, they will send you another SMS informing you of new offers, and before you know it, you are in a long-term relationship receiving so many SMSs constantly from all these different companies. So that is one transaction from one company. Imagine many. The same thing happens if you use Lipa and M-Pesa in nightclubs, in restaurants, in hotels, etc. They will start sending you messages of your different offerings and eventually turn your phone into a marketing nightmare with companies sending you SMSs as early as 5 a.m. or even as late as 1 a.m. The most common way companies collect data nowadays is through websites and mobile apps. But with this, they require you to create an account before transacting, and you will also have to agree to their legal requirements. This doesn't apply in the case of walk-ins, e supermarkets, or even a restaurant. There is no place you sign or agree to an agreement or receive any marketing messages. So all your personal information can be collected and stored, and this leaves you very vulnerable. Safaricom says you can use their short code to block these marketing messages, but there are many times when this doesn't even work. Lipa and M-Pesa as a service makes it very easy for businesses and people to go cashless. It makes payments easy even though it is quite slow to use compared to just paying cash or using an ATM card. But we can talk about this in a different topic, which we will be looking at the M-Pesa architecture and how it needs to change with modern times. There have been cases of people buying uh, the M-Pesa agent book, which has information of people that use M-Pesa, and uh, each contract can be as high as five shillings per person, especially when it is close to election time. The agents are also able to sell this contact information to other companies like bulk SMS companies. And since we use M-Pesa several times a week, it is almost impossible for you to trace who gives out your information. There have been so many fraud cases where a person calls you and identifies you by your name and even your government ID number. And these people can easily con you and even do SIM swaps and replace your phone number. A phone number today is like an extension of a person. And we have linked our phone numbers as primary point of authentication with banks, emails, and several other services that use one-time one -time SMS pins. So this brings in the risk of someone being able to catfish you or even hack you through social engineering, which can be seen on how effective those SMSs from prisons are. How can Safaricom fix this? Now, this is a hard question because one, I don't work for Safaricom. 
Like I mentioned before, the problem is in the core system of M-Pesa and will require changing how it works. And so here are two suggestions I will come up with, uh, which I think Safaricom can be able to use. One, the one-time pins. When you withdraw money from an ATM, the ATM doesn't uh, ask you for your personal information. Instead, you have a one-time pin that you can use. And with this, uh, you go to an ATM and withdraw cash. The suggestion is simply turning the agent system into an ATM system. Before withdrawing, I choose I want to withdraw at an agent instead of an ATM. Then they will send me an SMS with a six digit pin, which I will give the agent. Then the agent will uh, be able to complete the process and select the amount I need to withdraw and finish the process without having to write anything or ask me for my ID or my name or anything. It already works with the drawing from an ATM, so I believe it can work on these two. Option two, creating an alias. What you're trying to solve is avoiding giving out your personal information. This option can best work to replace the current procedure of sending money to businesses using till number and pay bill numbers. And how will this work? I will go to a till number, then it will generate a random name or number which will be sent as information to the business plus transaction charge. If the business needs to verify that I have made the transaction, I will just have uh, to show them the SMS in my phone and then the attendant will be able to verify. Hopefully these changes can become useful and reduce the constant marketing messages that we receive from companies. And I hope Safaricom can adopt these changes or come up with even better solutions to protect our personal data because we are drowning in spam messages and trying to be conned every next day. Thank you for watching the video and if you liked it then like the video and share it, subscribe to the channel for videos like this coming up every next Thursday. So uh, see you next time.